Hello, my beautiful friends. You can see my lovely, beautiful cat is joining us today uh, for this vlog. And so today's a little bit of a love letter um, from me to the practice of breathing. So I know it sounds like kind of a simple thing, uh, and yet we hear about it all the time and for good reason. So I treat people with, you know, lots of different kind of issues going on with their life. You know, I work with people with uh, struggling with anxiety, depression, confidence issues, relationship issues, meaning of life issues. Uh, we talk about spirituality. We talk about loss and grieving. Um, we go through a lot of deep work. And, you know, of course, for every different person based on their history and their struggles and their challenges and their goals and their strengths, there's all different kinds of tools that they can use uh, in order to really help them to grow and progress. But I think the most powerful tool that is available to all of us in every single moment and that is helpful for every single person no matter what they're facing is the power of breath. And so, you know, when I talk about breath, I mean kind of not just breathing in general, because of course we're all doing that always, but really taking a kind and attentive approach to your breathing. And by kind, I mean deep and slow, the kind of breathing that almost feels like a warm hug when you're doing it, right? And so, you know, one of the reasons I love breath is because, you know, I tell clients all the time that three deep breaths can, in any moment, can save them three years of, of therapy. And I mean that when wherever we're caught in patterns with people, whenever we're anxious or stressed or depressed about something, when we're caught in a pattern of relating to ourselves or another person in, in a particular way, if we can in that moment just pause and take three deep breaths, just three, you don't have to go off and meditate for an hour, just take three deep breaths, just that amount of time will help put your body in kind of rest and digest mode. In other words, it activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the part of your nervous system that really just helps you to rest and digest physically in terms of, you know, allowing food to pass through, but also rest and digest with the information um, around you, right? And so being able to uh, stop and pause and like digest, hey, is this the story I want to tell myself? Is this the way I want, I want to choose to react? Is this the way that, um, is this what's going to be the way to go forward in this particular situation that's really going to serve me and everyone else involved, right? And just three breaths can allow you to switch into the side of yourself that knows the best answer to that. Not to mention, obviously, uh, yogis have been telling us for centuries that breathing and, and, and taking time to do pranayama practice, which is an intentional breathing practice, cultivates all kinds of benefits, right? So it cultivates um, better memory, better concentration. Um, it also brings down our, our um, blood pressure. It helps balance uh, several of our hormones. And it's also so associated with um, a better heart rate and with with brain growth. So there's there's so many reasons to kind of pause and be intentional about the way that you're breathing throughout the day. Um, and so for me, as as I was started practicing pranayama, I definitely noticed that I became physically healthier. I definitely know this that I became happier um, because of all these very well documented benefits, right? And it really, really helped me in in the time of my life when I was struggling with anxiety and depression in, in very serious serious ways. But now um, that I've kind of past that stage, I still practice pranayama all the time, meaning kind, attentive breathing and different breathing um, patterns and techniques, simply because pranayama and, and breathing just has so much to teach me. It feels like, it feels like this beautiful mentor who I can carry around with me in my pocket all the time who just has these beautiful drops of wisdom to give me in any particular moment where I need some guidance and and it's so incredible and empowering to be able to turn in and feel like those answers are inside of me just um, in the way that I'm breathing so for example when I'm breathing I'm really in touch with the 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 message of breath which is that slow and steady is so much more powerful than 
uh, you know, fast and quick and hard and all that stuff, right? So when we're exercising or when we're going for a run, a lot of times we're like, okay, I need to, I need to breathe really fast. I need to, you know, like really get all this energy. But actually, that depletes us and we can't do the workout, right? I used to, uh, back when I was training uh, MMA fighters in yoga, I, the the key to them winning the fight was obviously partly in the technique, but also really in them being able to keep their breath slow and steady throughout the fight, no matter how their limbs were moving or at what pace or what was going on for them. And so the same thing is true for us, right? In all of our lives, if we can do things slow and steady, if we can flow with the pace of life rather than moving so quickly through it just to kind of get through it or try to push ourselves so hard, you know, we actually do so much better and we enjoy the process of whatever we're doing. So kind of slow, steady, and mindful is true for our breath and it's true for everything in the way we approach life. Um, breath also teaches us that I think that we're all connected to so many things and so many people, right? I think it's so easy in this fast-paced world to feel lonely and feel sad and feel like we're all alone and nobody understands us, nobody has our back. I mean, that happens to to the best of us sometimes, you know? But just to stop and remember that, like, that's not true. That you get your breath, <laughs> that you get your breath. I'm laughing at my cat behind me taking a, taking a deep stretch. She's going slow and steady. Um, but you get your breath from the trees. I mean, they are there supporting your life, giving you literally the number one ingredient you need to support your life, which is breath, every second, right? And so they, you are supported. And there are people who are there growing those trees, raising those trees, fighting campaigns to protect those trees, right? So you are so supported. You are not alone. There are people out there supporting your life in ways you're not even conscious of at every single moment. Not to mention, you know, the breath that you're breathing right now is, is a recycled breath from somebody else who breathed it uh, just, a, just a few moments ago. So we are so connected to this web and it's so important to remember that when we feel lonely, that there's, there's these blessings connecting all of us. The third thing that breath teaches me and reminds me is just of like the pure miracle of life. You know, it's again, it's so easy to get like frustrated with all things, you know, I'm, I'm planning a wedding right now. It's so easy to get like frustrated in the, the minutia of, of wedding planning. Like, oh, this, this decorator isn't, or this, uh, you know, this oh, guest list isn't working out or the music or the flowers or whatever. You know, it's so easy to get stressed and overwhelmed and frustrated with, with things not feeling like they're working out perfectly. And then that happens in much bigger things in life too, right? It's so easy to get frustrated with the people we work with or the kind of job we have. It's just, it's so easy. And to just take a second and, you know, stop and say, hey, what can I be grateful for this moment? And sometimes life is so hard, you can't think of a damn thing, you know? The people suck, my life sucks, I have no money, I have no, you know, I don't know where I'm gonna get my food from, whatever it is. You can say, hey, I can breathe. Like there's this beautiful thing called breath that is powering my existence every day, that's allowing me to move forward, to connect. You know, people who can't breathe, look at, look at what it's like for them, how difficult it is, right? So it's this miracle, you did nothing for it, you barely even understand how it works, the exchange of air in your cells, right? And yet it's working for you day in and day out. You recharge, you go to bed, you sleep, you turn off, you flip out, you underfunction, you overfunction, all of those things. Breath is there with you. So you're always, it's this miracle of life that we always have with us and it's something to remind us of just all of the miracles that support our daily existence no matter how hard life can be at a moment in time. Um, lastly, breath reminds us um, of the message of self-care. And so, you know, it's just a simple thing of like, you, you can't exhale until you inhale, right? Until you fill your lungs, you can't breathe out. Right? And then the same thing, I think a lot of us go out and we try to save the world and we try to help others and we try to be perfect at work and the perfect mom or the perfect dad or the perfect, all the things for all the people, right? And, and it's a beautiful instinct, but we can't do it from a 
depleted place. And and you all know that, right? We've You've all felt that sense of resentment of, I give and I give and I give and I give, and when am I gonna receive? And it's like, well, it's up to you to receive. You have to breathe in. Nobody else can give you that breath. You have to choose to stop and to inhale. So, you know, for all of these reasons, I really believe that the quality of your breath is the quality of your mind, is the quality of your life. It literally physiologically controls so many things that are healthy for us, but also it reminds us of these much, much bigger lessons that if we carried them with us, if we were attentive to them all the time, we would just live such a happy, much more happy and peaceful life. Um, and so the last thing I wanted to do, of course, is share a breath practice with you, share a pranayama. And so different pranayama are used for all different things. There's um, bre breath to help us cool down. There's breath to help us warm up. There's breath to help us work on certain toxins or certain organs. There's lots of different to get out funky energies or balance energies in our bodies. And so I could, you know, teach you so many different pranayama for different purposes. But today I'll just start with kind of a version of um, deep breathing. It's called Dirga Pranayama or three-part breath. And so the way to do it is just take your, your left hand and put it right, right on your belly, like a little bit below your belly button, and your right hand on your rib cage. And so when I talk about three parts, I'm talking about the bottom part being your belly, the middle part being your rib cage, and the upper part being your chest. Um, and so you want to imagine when you take a deep breath in, you want to imagine breathing over about six to eight counts in and breathing into your belly first, then breathing into your rib cage and breathing into your chest and feeling each one progressively expand as you go. So you can just, you know, close your eyes and take a, a normal breath to just center. And then exhale completely, get all the air out of you, feel your belly contract in toward your spine. And then as you take your next deep breath in, I want you to feel the air going into your belly, I feel the belly expanding outward. Then I want you to feel the ribs expanding outward with your right hand. And then you can move your left hand onto your chest to feel the chest expanding outward. And then as you exhale, feel the chest collapse, then feel the ribs collapse, and then feel the belly collapse. So taking it again, left hand on the belly, right hand on the ribs, feel the belly go out as you inhale, then the ribs, and then the chest expand, expand, expand. And then as you exhale, feel the chest Slowly contract, feel the ribs contract, feel the belly contract. And you want to keep doing that and the whole time you're breathing in and out through your nose and just feeling the belly as it goes in and out of your belly. Feeling the breath as it goes in your ribs, feeling the breath as it goes in your chest, and then out of your chest, out of your ribs, and out of your belly. And you wanna just stay with that breath. If you do that for five minutes a day, or if you happen to ha be able to do it in the middle of a hectic moment, it is gonna make such a difference to your life. So here's a love letter to you and a love letter to breath. I hope you enjoy practicing, and I will, me and the cat, will see you next week.